Yes, yes, yes. What's up, world? How you doing? It's your homeboy Night Owl, representing for Team Nitro TV, live in the loop, Miss M's Candy. And I'm here with Lee and Sharon, the owners, the foundation of the AKA Chocolate Factory. I like what y'all got going on here. Um, let's first start by the name. Where did the name Miss M's come from? Miss M's Candy Boutique. Well, we named Miss M's Candy Boutique after our daughters, Megan and Morgan. So okay. they were actually really spearheaded this whole project and wanted yeah. to do something involving candy. So we decided to name the store after those girls. Okay, so Morgan and Mandy. Morgan and Megan. Megan, okay. And they were here last week. Uh huh. Got you, okay. So Miss M's Candy, now where does the boutique part come from? Because when I think of boutique, I think of like clothes. Right, and that's, and you're correct, boutique, because we not only have candy, but we have everything that's candy related. So we do clothing, we do accessories, apparel, novelty items, as you can see we have okay. sleepwear. Yeah, come over here, let's, let's let them see some of this stuff right here. We have you know, socks, have. we have bags. So like, what's this right here? Is this a... That's a candy set. So okay. we have uh, different uh, types of apparel items from different brands. So right there, that's M&M's. Right. This is nice. Now, is this for just kids, or is this for women, grown folks? That particular set right there is for young adults and adults, but we do have some kid items, too. Like this? Yeah. This is your shop. Yes. You're the owners. Yes. How did you become the owners of Missing Candy? Well, I mean, we just decided to branch off and do something a little different, a little bit, something exciting, you know. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do something that was not stressful and right. that involved kids. Right. Okay, no, because kids love candy. Kids they love, love candy. candy. Yeah. Um, just a second ago, a whole slew of kids just came in, got all kind of stuff, non -laters. I used to sell non laters when I was in uh, elementary school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's cause, like, you know, I, I lived in, you know, the city and, like, the county, they didn't have non laters out there for some reason, so I used to smuggle non laters in. Yeah. Anyway. Smuggle non laters so, <laughs> in the county, right? But so, that goes way back, though. That's yeah, old school. Way back, old yeah. school. Back when I, I think they were the nice, thick packs mm -hmm. were, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 cents. Mm -hmm. you know, now, you know, you go to the gas station, 35, 45, 50 cent, you know, so wow. it's crazy. So yeah. now I saw some by knowledge, those right there. So how yeah. much? Ours are 25 cent. We Can try I see to one of those keep right our there? prices, you know, affordable for the kids. Now, this is one of my favorite uh, non-laters was passion fruit. I've never been able to find passion fruit since back in the day. Okay. Um, but, you know, these are definitely classics and uh, old school favorites. Yeah, pineapple, um, watermelon, banana. So what, what do you think, what candy do you think kids vibe off of or like the most or really flock to the most? What's kids now are into the sour um, candies like Sour Patch and uh, Sour Skittles. Mm -hmm. um, you know, where are those at? Yeah, yeah we have them down here. Let me see where those at. You have the Cause I gotta stay up on my game. Oh, yeah, sour, sour patch. Sour okay, patch okay. Well. But we got something new for the kids. I need something new for me. And this I'm is on, I'm on this these. Is, this is sour. This is toxic waste. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, this is very very. Should we sour. be selling kids okay. something? <laughs> That's yeah. strong. So, <laughs> but um, you know they uh, they love this stuff. Yeah. You know they they love it. This is not actually toxic. But. I hope not. Yeah. Um, all right, y'all. We back once again. Miss Ann's candy. You know this is a. Uh, it's my spotlight, you know, black owned business of, uh, let's just say, of the year, you know, <laughs> of the year. Um, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, put a lot of emphasis on black owned business, like, you know, why is that such a big deal, you know, and, you know, I know why I think it's such a big deal, but can you give, like, your opinion on why you think people make such a big deal, a big influence on why it's a thing to be a black owned business versus a white owned business or Asian owned business? Well, I just think because you don't see that many anymore, you know, uh, from stereotypes or whatever the case may be, you know, but you don't see a lot of black-owned businesses. It's a good thing because we want our youth to see what they right. can accomplish, right. you know, that they don't have to work for someone else, that they can be their own boss. Good. So I think that's very important. Now, um, what's, uh, now we, we talked about the, the, the candy, and I like how you say, you know, something that's stress-free and candy is, you know, it sells itself. It sells itself. You know, everybody from, you know, five-year-olds to year old eat and love candy. All sorts of kind of candy. Um, I know that on, on your business card you talk about having organic kinds of candy. You know, speak about that. Like, the, the, you know, we have, got into that. well, because we know that there's a lot of people that are health conscious, so mm -hmm. we have organic candy, which right. doesn't have the pesticides or the chemicals added in there, you know. We, we try to have products available for people that are diabetic, so we have sugar-free. Right. Uh, we have kosher candy. I just saw sugar-free. Where is that? I saw right here, right here, yeah, right here. That's some sugar-free jelly jelly. See this right here? This is a small 
small portion of sugar free, but we have we do have a large line of sugar free. Oh, all the whole you got a whole section. Okay, whole section. Yeah. yeah, and then we have sugar free up front too. So we have okay. a variety of sugar free candy. I like that. Um, now since we're talking about the actual candy portion of Miss Miss Candy, what's what's like the hardest part of the business aspect, running the behind the scenes of Miss Miss Candy? What's the, what's the hard, most difficult part about running the business? I think it is the behind the scenes, the paperwork that's involved with it. I mean, you can see that we have over uh, 500 different products in here, so right. just keeping everything in order, placing orders, making sure we Inventory. have everything in timely. Yeah. You know, it's staying current, uh, you know, up on the new candies and new products that right. are coming out, you know, um, uh, being able to, you know, try to, you know, get to the various different conventions that are, that are around the, uh, the, the different states. It's, you know, it could be, you know, hard on you. Okay, I see here you have Miss Amy's Candy Boutique Candy Catering. What's that all about? Well, we do parties. Uh, we that do candy catering out. parties, which includes, uh, it can be a wedding, it can be birthday, bar mitzvah, okay. uh, whatever the case may be. You know, we can set up a nice candy display. You can choose the candy you want. It's, it can be theme related, color related. So it's a very popular um event that's taking place. Right. Now, um, I heard that um, you're shooting a video here next week with yeah. Young Bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Candy Girls, as a matter of fact, I saw a flyer here. Big shouts out to Young Bro shooting his video, Candy Girl. You know, it's, you know, I got an anytime here Candy Girl, I think a new edition. You know, right. Right. <laughs> I know. So Young Bro is, you know, maybe he heard of that and wanted to redo it. And we'll, we'll see. But um, that's definitely big, getting a video shoot. All, all stuff like this and video shoots is all good promotion. For your shop, yeah. you know, and that's that's the part, you know, where I like to come in and help because, you know, I like to consider St. Louis my city. Yeah. And you know, anytime there's people I know trying to do, you know, something positive for themselves and for the community, then it's something that I like to be a part of and be a part of too. So this will be really a really big thing. Once again, it's the video shoot taking place um, right here at Miss Sims Candy for Young Bro Candy Girl. March fifth. Uh, March fifth. Um, now that starts at four o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also featuring Gunner from Unladylike, East Side represent. That's cool. Um, a couple things, a couple more things I wanted to go over before we wrap this thing up. Like, um, how did you actually pick this spot in the loop, or were you shopping for a certain location? Right. And how important do you think location is for your business? Location is everything. Uh, we actually, you know, surveyed this spot for over a year. Mm -hmm. uh, we came down uh, on the loop every day. Uh, of the week and just looked at various different spots on the loop and we looked at you know how traffic will flow look at the um, uh, as far as how uh, you know the the traffic of the people walking you know from various places and this is a high traffic area right uh, uh, and we're right here at the corner so we have uh, visibility from all four corners so you got the passion right here you got churches yeah. you got Tivoli you Absolutely. know tuxedo so that's a lot Going yeah, on, right going here. on, on, on this corner. And that end so. over there is a really cool end too, but this mm -hmm. end is growing. Yeah. So that's we wanted to be on the growing. It's a lot end of clothing too. stores and a lot of other things yeah. on that side as well. They used to really just be buildings. Yeah. So sure. That's right. definitely that's definitely good. Okay. Now another thing I want to know is like you know if you're trying to be a businessman, businesswoman, like you know people always say what kind of advice you would give. I think that's kind of like you know uh, you know simple for everybody asks that question, but like. What's something that you actually did, you know, not something you would give advice, something you actually did that made this possible, that made it happen? Like, what was something that you guys did that really made this happen? Dedicate 200% of your time to make it happen. Yeah. Uh, that's the advice I give. I mean, if you're going to, you know, you're going to give 100% on your job, you got to give 200%, you know, on your own business in order yeah. to make it work, you know, and, uh, and be dedicated to it. And uh, that's, you know, that's the advice I, I would give. Yeah, you got to have an I can do attitude. Right. You know, I can do it. So, and don't let anyone stop you. And, and I think that it's great that you, uh, you know, employ your family, your children, and have it in house. Yeah. You know, that's important because even though, you know, it's black owned, but you also, you know, getting the, uh, I like to say, getting on, getting an early jump on, yeah. just showing some kind of structure about, you know, someday, you know, running it themselves, you exactly. know, and being able to uh, learn the tricks of the trade at a young age. So, like, do they consider themselves to be, like, you think they really like it or they do it because y'all make them do it? I think they really like it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, both the girls that work here during the day, one is my daughter, one is a close friend of the family, so right. they really enjoy it. They're excited when they get here. So yeah. that's important to us. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah.
So I'm, I'm assuming that once the summer hits, the, the business just booms even further. Yeah. Crazy. We've had a lot of crazy weather lately, so uh -huh. you know I, I know spring is coming. A lot of kids going to come in and get their can. Not even just kids, but just adults people in general, too. adults. You know, this is a good spot. Um, they just built a, a hotel right next door too. Mm -hmm. um, Moonrise. So a lot of people come in from out of town. You know, this is a great spot for people. You know, anytime I go out of town, I actually go look at the candy shop. Where the candy shop at? Right. You know. So this is a great spot for not only uh, the Loop but St. Louis as a whole. And um, we just want to wrap it up, letting people know where can um, they find you online or give us some things on uh, your website. They can find us online at www.missmscandy.com. That's M-I-S-S-M-S-C-A-N-D-Y.com. Phone number 314-721-7000. And, and they can also, can, well, they can also uh, you know, look us up on Facebook, Miss Sims Candy on Facebook. And yeah. the location is right here at 61. 92, uh, 6193 Delmar yeah. uh, in the University City Loop. That's what it is. So you can catch me here, you know, just passing through. Catch uh, Young Row here next Sunday, video shoot. This is great, man. This is one of my new favorite spots to come hang out, come be at, come get my candy from, get my sugar high, make sure I get all types of just, you know, different types of candy from M&M's to Gobstoppers, Jujubees. Go ahead and get a look. We got... Uh, sour patch. Swing back over this way. Get a, get a look at this right here one more time. I need to get this for my house. How can I get one of these for my house? I, I, I don't know. Um, this pillow is super fly. I love it. Uh, the speakers, like everything in shop, man. It's really, it's really cute. It's really cool. It's really fly. I like it. That's what it is, y'all. Night Out, Teen Nitro TV. You know how we get down. 2011. Peace.